Hi everyone, thanks for checking in. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a reading for air signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. And this reading is going to focus on the person who broke your heart. Okay, so, um, you know, this is a heavy topic for a lot of us. So I want to take it slow. I want to use a couple of decks here to see what, what they're up to, what they're thinking, sort of anything we can learn about what this person may be going through currently, if they're seeing anyone new. Um, we'll see what the cards can reveal in regards to this situation. So um, hopefully there's something here that'll give you some clarity and insight into what they've been doing um, and where they're at roughly right now at this point in time as I do this reading. Um, if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like and of course subscribe to the channel. Um, there's a lot more content coming your way as well. So um, let's have a look and see. Okay, I did give the cards a good shuffle. Um, before, but let's give them another good shuffle again. Uh, the one that broke your heart. Okay, we all know who this person is. We all um, know what we're thinking about here. Okay, um, straight off the bat here, I want to say that this person, I'm going to shuffle these cards a little bit later. Um, I want to say that straight away off the bat, this person isn't doing too well, okay? They're, they're not in the best place right now. Um, the page of wands reverse says to me that this person isn't right now attracted to anyone else or looking for anyone else. Um, it makes me think with the Ace of Cups, they're trying to like forgive or to heal from what happened between the both of you. You know, I'm really drawn to that Ten of Wands. You can see he's carrying some heavy ones here. So this person is still carrying some pain, maybe even some anger. They still think about you a lot or they're still talking about you. Um, for a lot of you, you may still be in communication with this person because you've come up as the Queen of Swords. Um, it makes me think that there's communication that still exists between the both of you okay so maybe you still like each other's posts you still check in on whatsapp um you still email each other maybe you have mutual friends even but i could indicate that right now with the queen of swords the queen of swords like to keep likes to keep her options open so it could indicate that this person has spoken to other people but nothing that would indicate to me that um they're falling in love or, you know, they're planning to move on. I mean, the Ace of Cups can indicate something new around this person, like a new a new person. But, um, you know, I still feel like it's early days with the Page of Wands. They're not feeling like they're ready to open up as yet. They're very um, consistent with what they've been doing and it works for them. Okay, so they have some sort of coping mechanism with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, she's a very monetary card here. Okay, she represents wealth and beauty and, and the exterior. Uh, so it could indicate that this person has a strong focus on their career right now or they're distracting themselves um, with their career. Okay, so they're putting a lot of emphasis into building their business or putting in more hours or earning a promotion. And don't get me wrong, I think, you know, to have such a big um such a big card next to them could very well indicate that they are doing exceptionally well in their career because that's um career or uh, money monetarily um, that's because that area of their life is getting all the focus right now um, the ace of cups it can indicate a new beginning okay it can indicate rebirth in a way so i feel like there's a hand of god it makes me feel like um the universe god spirit you know we can call it anything that we like may give you both another opportunity or another chance to make things right again. They may extend some sort of offer because it is an offering. It's coming from the hand of God. Um, the justice card is about making things right. Now, if this isn't a second attempt at this relationship, it could indicate that they want to make things right. The justice card, you know, the scales, it makes me think that this person is weighing things up right now. Um, about what happened between the both of you. So they're sort of, you know, they're, they're trying to justify maybe the reasons why they left. Maybe they're trying to justify the reasons, you know, things didn't go so well. There's justification, I feel, on their end. And they're sort of running around in circles trying to do this. 
know, the Page of Wands isn't, you know, it's reversed, so it would indicate this person isn't being very adventuristic right now. You know, they're not accepting new invitations. They might not be going out a lot. They're still trying to process a lot because Queen of Swords energy, they're, they're still processing, I think, everything that has happened um, between the both of you. Okay, in this instance, the Page of Wands has come up upright and they're sort of mirroring each other. Straight away, I get the, um, my understanding of that is that they're sort of mirroring their behavior. Um, this could definitely be strong twin flame energy. Okay, Ace of Cups has come up twice. So for some of you, there is a destined, um, a second opportunity for you to have this person back in your life. Okay, the person that broke your heart may be coming back in. Um, or the universe, you know, is giving you a chance with this person. Um, it could be a water sign. Okay, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius. We've got Leo. We have Libra underneath here as well. Um, so it makes me feel like maybe it's one of these signs that's coming through in the cards here. But um, ultimately seeing this, I feel... With these other fire cards, I feel like this person is still attracted to you. They're trying to keep busy. They're trying to keep themselves distracted. Um, but they're still hurt, okay? Especially if there was like an ex or there was like cheating, if there was scandal, if there was a love triangle going on here. This person is either very much still involved in that or they're still learning to cope with it, to deal with it. Um, they want peace with the such with the temperance card. They want peace, but for some reason they're either still. If you are in communication, they could be still angry at you. So they may be, you know, saying mean things. Um, maybe that you feel like every time you you end up talking to them, it somehow ends up in an argument. There's always something here uh, that affects. You know, five of swords is battle. It could also be leaving something behind. I get the sense that this person doesn't necessarily want to move on from you. You know, there's two aces here. Okay, so say, for example, if this person has had someone come up in their life, okay, a new person, maybe someone from their past, an ex, there is a slight attraction to this person, but there's still a lot of pain that they're dealing with. So I get the sense that it's, it, this could be a rebound relationship or their heart is still attached to you in a sense that, you know, they can't necessarily move on yet. Um, or if they have tried to move on, they're still living through some pain. So it makes me feel like they're, they're still coping with that somehow. You know, they're not, they're not doing the best. They're trying to bring more balance in. I mean, they're trying to move on from this and trying to bring more balance in. But I think it's a, it's a very slow process that appears to be happening on their end. There's still a lot of ego involved with the Queen of Wands. This person may still be feeling um a little bit jealous over you, jealous if you've moved on, um, jealous if you're going out and about. There could be s these sorts of feelings that are still around this person as well. I'll leave it at that though. Uh, thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, and I'm sure I'll catch you very, very soon. So take care, lots of love and angel blessings and bye for now.